What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Sugarcane Farm. This farm works on 0.17 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm will allow you to quickly and easily get a ton of sugarcane. For this farm, all you'll need is two chests, one hopper, one dispenser, two pistons, four redstone torches, one lever, two redstone repeaters, 13 redstone, 12 glass blocks, three glass panes, one water bucket, one sugar cane, one dirt block, and finally about 40 solid blocks. You guys can use any type of solid block that you want. The first step is to take some solid blocks, so you guys can use any type of solid block that you want, then place down two, one, two, now place a block over here and a block of this spot, then break the center block. After you guys have created the shape, come back to the front. Now place a lever over here, redstone torch to this spot, and a redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of the redstone repeater are facing that way. Then place a redstone at this spot. As you guys can see there, that should create a redstone clock. Once you guys have created this redstone clock, put this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four, and two this way. One, two. Then fill in the outline with solid blocks. After you guys have created that platform, place three blocks over here, one block at this spot, three blocks over here, and two over here. Once you guys have completed that step, place a dirt block at this spot. That will be where sugarcane grows in this farm. The next step is to crouch down and place two chests over here. One, two. Now come behind the double chest. Then crouch down and place a hopper over here. Make sure that hopper funnels towards the double chest. You guys can tell the hopper is falling towards the double chest because as you guys can see here, the nozzle of it should be facing that way. That hopper will collect all of the sugar cane that is harvested in this farm and funnel it into the collection's chest. The next step is to crouch down and place water inside of that hopper. By placing water over there, sugar cane will be able to grow on top of the dirt block. That is because sugar cane requires water to grow. The next step is to place a block over here, then place two pistons on top. One, two. Make sure both of those pistons are facing this way. Those pistons will automatically harvest all the sugar cane that is generated in this farm. After you guys are done placing those pistons, place three blocks over here, block this spot, and three over here. The next step is to place three last blocks over here, three over here, and two on the top. Now place three last blocks at this spot. Then come in here. Now place a dispenser at this spot. Make sure the dispenser is facing this way. Once you have placed the dispenser, place a glass block over here. The next step is to plant a sugar cane on top of this dirt block, then place three glass panes over here. Those glass panes will prevent sugar cane from getting shot out of the front of the farm, while also allowing the hopper to collect all the sugar cane. The next step is to come to the back of the farm. Now place two redstone over here, then place a block at this spot and a redstone torch on top. Now place a block on top of that redstone torch and a redstone torch on top of this block. Then place a block on top of that redstone torch and a redstone torch on top of this block. Once you guys are done creating that redstone torch tower, place two blocks over here, block at this spot, one over here, and one over here. Then place three redstone like this, and one over here. By placing all that redstone, we will be able to connect the redstone signal from that redstone clock all the way over to both of these pistons. It's really important that you guys create the redstone torch tower correctly. This bottom redstone torch should be powered off, that one should be powered on, and that one should be powered off. The next step is to place a redstone at the spot. Now turn over this way and place down a redstone repeater. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Once you guys have placed that redstone repeater, click it once. By doing that, we will be able to delay the redstone signal between the pistons and the dispenser so that sugar cane can grow in this farm. The next step is to place two redstone over here and two over here. Then crouch down and place a redstone on top of this dispenser. That will connect the redstone signal from the redstone clock all the way over to that dispenser. The final step is to open the dispenser, then add some bone meal inside of it. You guys can add any amount of bone meal you want, however, the more bone meal you add, the longer you'll be able to use this farm for before having to add more bone meal. By the way, don't worry if you guys don't have any bone meal because I will show you how you guys can quickly and easily get a ton of bone meal later in this video. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you guys can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. In front, you guys should have this hopper and collection's chest. And there, you guys should have your sugar cane and pistons on top. This side of your farm should have your dispenser. The back should have all this back redstone. Make sure you guys do all the back redstone correctly. And finally, this side of your farm should have this redstone clock. How this farm works is, whenever that lever is flicked, it will activate the redstone system. 
That will cause the dispenser to constantly dispense bone meal at a shuriken to make it grow every single second. The resistance system will also cause the pistons to constantly move back and forth to harvest all the shuriken as soon as it grows. The harvested shuriken will then get funneled into this hopper and into the collection's chest. Whenever you guys want to turn the farm off, all you need to do is flick that lever down. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, flick this lever, then just wait. As you guys can see there, shuriken will grow every single second, then get harvested and funneled into this collection's chest. This farm is a great, quick, and easy way to get a ton of shuriken. Whenever you guys want to turn this farm off, all you need to do is flick this lever down to shut it off. If the farm ever runs out of bone meal, you guys can come over here, then open the dispenser and add some more bone meal to it. If the shuriken in this farm does not grow for you, then check to see that you did all the redstone correctly. The redstone on this side should be connected to that dispenser. In the back, the redstone should be like this. Make sure that redstone repeater is clicked once, so it's like that. Over here, you guys should have this redstone tower. That redstone short should be powered off. That one should be powered on, and that one should be powered off. This redstone should connect to that piston. Fine, this side should have your redstone clock. I am now going to show you all three quick and easy ways you guys can get a bunch of bone meal to use in this farm. One way you guys can get a bunch of bone meal is by making an automatic fish and bone farm. In this farm, fish will spawn water, then get attracted to the center tube because they're attracted towards deeper water. At the bottom of the center tube, there are some magma blocks, so the fish will automatically get killed. All of the drops will be collected by a minecart hopper, fallen into that hopper, and fallen into this collection's chest. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a ton of fish and bones. Each bone can be used to craft three bone meal. Another easy way you guys can get a bunch of bone meal is by making my spawner XP farm using a skeleton spawner. In this farm, skeletons will spawn from the spawner, then get pushed by water into the trident killer. In the Trident Curl, they're automatically killed. You guys can collect all the XP by standing over here, and all the drops will be funneled into this collection's chest. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you bones, which you guys can use to make bone meal. By the way, if you guys want to prevent the collection system from getting clogged with bows and armor, I recommend you guys watch my Trident Killer with Item Sorter tutorial. That will allow you guys to use this farm to only get bones and arrows. Another easy way you guys can get a bunch of bone meal is by making my automatic bone meal farm. Whenever this farm is turned on, the kelp will grow and get harvested every single second. The kelp will then be funneled into these composters where they are converted into bone meal. All the resulting bone meal will be funneled by those hoppers into this collection's chest. The links to each of my tutorials for each of the farms I just showed will be in the description. Before we end this video, I would like to announce that my friend Mackenzie has recently made a YouTube channel. On her channel, she will be posting build tutorials and other Minecraft videos. If you guys are interested in that type of content, please go check it out and subscribe to it. A link to her channel will be in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Shurricane Farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!